All right, YouTube, this is your boy, The Virus Systems, and we are here to do the Chiri Chiri Chara Chara again. And today, I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to greet everybody who has been visiting my blog and everybody who have been giving your support to The Virus Systems. It is because of you that I'm able to stay live on this channel. So shout outs to all of you, wherever you are, I give you shout outs. Today, I'm going to take you through how to um, set up Guest Pass Apartment Guest Management app. So first of all, we are going to set up the back end. Then from there, we come to set up um, the app itself. And there are two apps, one for the security guard and one for the guest. So we'll be learning how to set up these apps individually on this YouTube channel. The virus system, stay with me. So I have my C panel open here. And the first thing that I need to do is to create a subdomain where I am going to upload what? my guest pass um back end code which is the php code onto so i'm going down to um subdomains right here then i'm going to create a subdomain chiri chiri chara chara so my um subdomain is going to be called guest pass then i'll create my guest pass subdomain then what i need to do is i need to um go back to my c panel then create a database but before i create a database i would like to upload the source code so whilst it is uploading then we can create what our database so i'll go to um file manager then i will locate the subdomain that i've just created right now so i'm going to look for that subdomain which is some um, guest pass we have here then i will upload it here by hitting on the upload button then select file then right here i'm going to look for um my file um get pass here then i have um the source code here php source code then this is a source code so i upload the source code now once the source code is uploading we are now going back to cpanel to create what a database so i'll go back to cpanel then i'll come to my sql database then i'm going to create a database with the same name get pass then create then my database is created so i'll go back and after creating the database i'm going to assign privileges to the database and a database user so i'm going down right here then i have um the virus system avenash then my database is get pass and then i'm assigning the user the virus underscore avenash so i hit on add to add privileges to the database so i'm going to select all privileges and then I'll hit on make changes and that will make changes. Now our database is created. It has all the privileges to alter, create and other things and so forth. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to import the database that comes with what get pass into the database we have created. And when our source code is done uploading, then we edit our source code to what connect to our database. So I'm going back to C panel, main page, and then I'll come to PH my admin then where i'm going to upload what the database into the database that i've created some few seconds ago so let's give you some few minutes to load chiri chiri chara chara all right so our database has finished what um opening um our php admin has finished opening so now look for the database called what guest pass then after opening get pass database i'll hit on import then i'll click on choose file then I'll navigate back to um, my SQL code, then select it, then I hit on the go button. And that is going to what? Import my database into what? The guest pass database have created on my cPanel. So let's also give it some few seconds to finish uploading. Whilst we check on what? Our upload source code where it has gotten to 16%. My internet is, is um, very, very slow here in Ghana. So please, never mind. Maybe when... Um, everything is done i'll resume back i'll pause the video right now and when everything is done then i'll press on the record button again and then we'll continue with what our tutorial so stay tuned with the virus system all right so our source code is done uploading the first one i had an error so i have to re-upload it that took me a few minutes ahead of time but still we are on track so we are done uploading our source code so what we need to do is that we need to go back to um, our subdomain and then we extract the code so let's extract the code 
We're extracting the code chiri chiri chara chara. Code is extracting. Code is extracting. Let's give you some few minutes. Yeah. So code is done extracting. So now we are going to configure our database and then um, our base URL to as well. So let's check to see whether our database has finished what? Importing. So we come to database and database is done importing. So I'll just copy the name of the database here. Then I'll go back to cPanel. Then I'll come to application. Then come to config. Then I'll open my database file.php. Database file.php. Then I will enter my database details here. So here, my database name. Um, yeah, database name, which is um, this. And then my database, which is this. And then my password. So, so sorry about the password, but it's for security reasons. So I'll just save and then I'll close that. Then we'll open our config folder, uh, file, sorry, config file. Then also edit that file to as well. So with our subdomain, we have here as guestpass.thevirussystems.com. So we save that to as well. So we are done configuring what? Our source code. So now let's try to see whether it will open or not. So guest pass dot the virus system dot com. So let's give it some few seconds. Chiri chiri chara chara. All right. So it's done loading. So now we are supposed to log in. So how do I get the username and the password? So simple. I just go back to um code can you on um my get pass um, page i dig down to um login details and then i have um admin yeah i'll just copy admin then um the password is demo one two three demo one two three then we log in chiri chiri chara chara is logging in so we are done setting up the source code on our c panel so the next thing we need to do right now is to start building what our app so stay tuned with the virus system which our next episode will be learning how to build our app on android studio and that is going to be our next video so subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell so that you can always get notification from me anytime i upload what video and keep on watching and watching and watching until you are convinced that you have learned something from the virus systems and don't go away and always hook yourself up with this channel and i'll give you the more that you need to learn from the virus system and please do visit my blog thevirussystems.com for free scripts which are available all over the internet and then you can also find them on my blog too as well so don't waste time hurry up and then test them at your fingertips before you rush to code can you to buy original one with a valid key so stay tuned with the virus system till we come up with the next wave and one more thing before i go don't forget to hook up syncoms.com for hosting and domain they are reliable that you can't hook up with just get a hosting and a domain over there and you are safe you are secured hook up